What's up YouTubers, Mr. McRaven here, welcome to my video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you some uh, quick tips uh, for those of you who are looking to put together your gaming clips and uh, edit them in Sony Vegas Pro uh, for uploading to uh, places like uh, YouTube. So, uh, for those of you out there that like to play video games and uh, record uh, your efforts in those games and then want to make uh, nice little montage type videos uh, to upload to your YouTube channel, then uh, this is a quick and very basic guide for those of you out there that are looking to, uh, to do that using Sony Vegas. Now it doesn't matter which version of Sony Vegas you're using, if you're using an older version like version 9 or even the latest version uh, Pro 12. And I think it also even applies to other Sony software out there uh, that they do, which is I think it's called Movie Studio. Uh, some of the principles you learn in Vegas will also apply to that software because uh, Sony developed all their software in pretty much the same uh, user kind of fashion in that way. So. If you use uh, programs like Fraps or Afterburner to record uh, your game footage, you will have raw video files and you'll find those files are quite large in size. And uh, what you want to do is you want to edit them in Sony Vegas and then render them ready for YouTube. But you don't want the, the file sizes uh, to be huge. So I'm going to try and cover uh, some of the most basic aspects of uh, how to put together a very simple video and then uh, picking a render setting that you can use in uh, YouTube. So at the uh, at end of this uh, video I will show you a render setting that I like to use quite often uh, when uploading uh, videos to YouTube um, as it uh, maintains quite a nice quality uh, without making too large uh, a file size. So to begin with what you need to know is uh, how to add uh, media to your project project media uh, file here. Now you can actually drag and drop the uh, video files directly or you can go up to file, import, media and uh, I've already gone ahead and selected a couple of AVR files uh, that I've recorded quite some time ago and I'm going to select uh, probably a couple of those holding down the shift key and using the arrows I can select several of them or you can use the mouse and uh, drag it like that. Click open. And uh, those AVR files are now there, ready to be used inside Sony Vegas. So you might want to make yourself uh, a little title. Uh, you can use other software to make titles. Uh, software like uh, Adobe After Effects is quite good for making uh, title sequences. Uh, but uh, Sony Vegas does have some uh, stuff that you can use to make some very basic titles and uh, we're going to run through that. We're going to use, let's say, this one. What you do need to do is you need to click and drag it to the timeline down below here. Now we don't want it uh, tremendously long, so what you can do is you can grab the end here and you can actually reduce the uh, amount of time it takes in the timeline. You can change the uh, text by clicking in the box and changing it to, uh, I don't know, montage if you like. You can change the text color. Let's pick a nice bright green. It's my favorite color. You can come down here, we can go to the advanced tab. We can even change the background color if we like. Oh, that's a horrible color. Let's go for a red. There we go. So you can fiddle around with any of the settings, adjust the colors uh, to anything you want. You can even change the uh, animation from uh, that to fly in, let's say. Once you're happy with that, you can close the little dialog box down. You can click uh, either here or down here and this will start from the very uh, beginning. Play from start. And it will show you how it, uh, how it pans out. So we've got ourselves a nice very simple little uh, title sequence uh, to begin with there. Now in the project media file you'll see that that title uh, sequence is added uh, to within the project media if you want to use it again at the end. Uh, so that's quite handy that uh, Sony does that uh, by default. Now what you want to do is you want to click uh, whichever clip uh, you want to use uh, and drag it down to the timeline. We're going to click this uh, middle one. We're going to drag it down. We're not going to put it all the way up to the title. And uh, here's, here's something that might not happen in your version of uh, Sony Vegas. It'll ask you, do you want to set your project video settings to match this media? Now, if uh, if by chance that you do uh, drop a video file in 
uh, to the timeline and you find yourself uh, that you've got black borders down the sides then this is something you'll probably need to do manually in uh, older versions of Vegas. so I'm just going to click yes for now but if you uh, if like I said uh, you do get uh, black borders going down the sides here all you need to do is go up to file come down to properties and click this uh, little symbol up here it says match media video settings you click that and then you'd need to find uh, the original source video that you're using click on that click open you'd click apply if it was there but it's already uh, applied to this project so we can't click apply and then you'd click OK and uh, for the most part most of the time the uh, black borders will actually disappear now you've got a video clip here um, in the timeline and uh, we, we might not want to use the entire video we might want to set a start time and an end time to each clip and you can easily do that by clicking and dragging uh, the start and you can also click and drag uh, the end here as well now if that's uh, if that's not simple enough you can also uh, bring the cursor uh, to here let's say we want to start it around about here we can click it there we can right click on the mouse uh, trim to start and it will then begin at that begin part of the uh, clip and let's say we want to end the clip there we can right click again within the uh, the video and we can trim the end and it's as, as simple as that really uh, if you want to trim uh, videos I just uh, click and drag the end uh, when I want to trim videos but uh, you can you can do it either way so then you can drag the uh, the first clip to the beginning add it to the uh, title let's grab uh, let's say uh, this uh, video clip we can drag it down to the timeline and we can start let's say doesn't matter we're not really looking at the footage right click trim from start and we can click and drag this end bit here where he kills me that's always good shorten that down to uh, reduce the uh, time down we can add that clip uh, to the end here so let's grab this uh, intro again. We can stick that on the end and make that the uh, end of the video. We'll keep it the same, like so. And that's that's pretty much it. You I mean you can add all the clips together like that. It's fairly simple. But you might want to add, uh, let's say, a transition between each clip. You don't want them to necessarily uh, all run one after the other with a bluntness. Uh, like here, if I click play, we can see that. that it straight away it switches from one clip to another you actually want some smoothness between them so you can uh, you can hold one of the clips and you can drag it slightly across and if we zoom in we can see that these folded lines over each other and what will happen it's easier to show you is uh, the two clips blend together now you might not want that uh, that kind of effect and uh, you can actually simplify if I move that cursor out of the way you can add the two clips together and you can actually uh, grab the top of the line where you see that curved line and what that will do is it will fade in uh, fade out the clip at the end and fade it in there so if I click there and click play you can see that the two clips actually um, fade in there but those aren't the uh, only options available if I move the cursor out of the way again and uh, stick these two clips together. There is actually transitions that you can use within Sony Vegas and uh, you can pick uh, from a whole range of things. There is actually quite a lot uh, to choose from and each one of these is editable. You can uh, alter them as you uh, see fit. We'll go for the top one, some 3D blinds left to right, that'll do. So you uh, click on uh, which one you want and you drag it down to the timeline and drag it to uh, the, between the two clips and then you let go. Now you can edit the uh, transition uh, divisions, that's how many blinds are going to be spinning, any extra spins you want to add, stagger, specular light, direction, uh, so you can change it from top to bottom if you like, and you can close that, and now the clips will transition just like that so it's fairly simple and straightforward if you want to change it at any point you can of course do that, you can click on the uh, transition properties by hovering the cursor over the uh, appropriate uh, icon you can go I don't really like it top to bottom I want it uh, left or right you can do that you can go right I only want three blinds that's okay and 
there we can see that there we go so it's fairly simple if you want to remove uh, a transition you just click on the uh, transition properties and up here in the uh, top right corner you'll see remove selected plugin plug and it'll be a little green symbol with a red X on it what that'll do is it'll get rid of uh, the uh, transition like that so that's uh, fairly simple and straightforward. Now there are lots of other settings you can use different kinds of uh, video effects if you wish to. Uh, let's find a good one that'll really be obvious. There should be a newspaper one. There we go, newsprint. So we can click that, we can drag that down onto this clip. And we'll keep it like that. If we uh, click on here we can see that it's, uh, it's had an effect on the uh, the video itself so you can click on here and you can uh, remove it if you wish to get rid of it fairly straightforward fairly simple and uh, easy to do so from beginning to end if I actually uh, turn down the audio so the video starts with montage or whatever it is that you want to use as a title it'll move on uh, into uh, the uh, the footage itself we uh, actually remove the transition in the middle there and then it'll come to the end and it'll it'll outplay. If you want to change the lettering at the end then you'll have to you will have to add a, uh, a second media generator from here um, because if you change the one at the end it'll also change the one in the beginning so you want two separate ones if you want to use two separate uh, beginnings and uh, endings. So that's pretty much it for how to do a very simple video and you get the very general gist and idea of how to do things and it's very easy to manipulate and uh, play around with uh, all the different uh, settings that are available like uh, the beginning here in the intro you can just click on the, uh, the settings and you can change the uh, text color to blue go down we can uh, change the background color to let's say uh, uh, black that's black enough and we could say uh, pop up there we go click from the beginning and there you go straight away it's changed you can change the font you can change the colors you can change anything that uh, that you want so I don't think there's there's probably a couple of other things I could just cover very quickly if I zoom into the uh, timeline here make it a bit bigger this plus symbol on the right hand side um, you might find you want to change the, the audio levels uh, within uh, the clips if you're deciding that you want to use uh, music you can actually uh, right click and remove uh, the audio completely from the game or you can just click at the very top drop it down to nothing like that and uh, you can remove the audio completely you can also do other edit editable things with the audio uh, if you wish to but you can drop the audio uh, down like that quite easily and you have no audio uh, at all and then you can add a music uh, track underneath uh, if you're playing music along with your gameplay um, but uh, if you've uh, got to this stage and you think right okay I'm happy with the transitions I'm happy with the beginning I'm happy with the end I'm happy that it's all a nice smooth video I've got what I want to do I want to render the video and uh, then have that video ready uh, to go onto YouTube well the next stage would be to go to file click on render as now in this section there are many many settings uh, to choose from um, I'm not going to be covering each and every single type of uh, format. If you want to know more about any specific format, then by all means uh, Google it. There are plenty of uh, websites out there that can give you probably better advice than I can uh, with regards to what format to use. But what I will show you is um, the format that I like to use when editing uh, my gameplay uh, videos uh, using Sony Vegas. Now obviously you're going to want to find a, a folder on a hard drive somewhere that you're going to want to store the video once it's rendered. So uh, you can pick um, a folder uh, by using this or browse and you can type in, although we're not actually going to render it, shut up, uh, we're going to render this as test, get rid of untitled so that's going to be the name it's going to save in that folder so remember that's uh, the output location now the format itself you can 
match the project settings exactly if you want. Uh, I leave it uh, unset because I already know what I want. Let's see if we can make this a bit bigger and easier to see. We can. Okay, so in this box itself you can actually pick from all sorts of uh, different uh, formats. Uh, that uh, There's a whole candy box full of stuff uh, that you want to use. Uh, but uh, me personally, when I'm uh, rendering videos for YouTube, I like reasonably good quality um, resolution videos, good quality audio, good quality video. Uh, but I don't want the file size, the final file size to be uh, absolutely massive. Um, because not all of us have uh, great uh, internet upload speeds. Uh, I like to use Windows Media Video V11. You can use any of the other ones that you wish. Uh, I like to, I tend to favor when I'm using longer videos, whether it's really long, about 20 to 30 minute videos, I tend to use a, a lower um, uh, bit rate like 4.8 megabits per second and I use a resolution of 720 because that's pretty good on YouTube that doesn't always need to be uh, 1080p so 720 is normally pretty good enough for me for long videos uh, if I'm doing short videos and I want them to be slightly higher quality uh, I can select um, 6.4 uh, megabits per second and that turns out a video quite uh, quite well can of course uh, select higher. Now you'll notice down here that the resolution is different. You can actually uh, alter everything as you want. You can go into the videos, you can uh, actually change the resolution to a custom size, for example. You could type in here uh, 1920 by 1080 if that's uh, what you want to do. You can adjust the frame rate, so say 20. 29.97 29.97 yeah I was right the first time so you can adjust all of this uh, as you see fit uh, if you want to use 1920 by 1080 and you don't want to use 1440 that's entirely up to you so you can customize the template and it'll remember that uh, for the next time uh, render options choose options for converting your project to the media file format uh, I generally always play uh, uh, click uh, have this uh, enabled stretch video to full output frame size do not letterbox what this tends to do is uh, stop any black lines coming uh, down the sides uh, of the finished uh, video and that's pretty much it when you're all set to go uh, you can click render it'll render the video and it'll put it into the uh, the folder that you've saved it to and uh, your video will be then ready to upload um, to YouTube so depending on which settings uh, you pick uh, here uh, within this box and uh, even the custom template box depending on which settings here would it would depend on how long it takes firstly to render and how big also the final file size will be as well so that's pretty much it you can adjust the, the audio I forgot to mention you can adjust the uh, the audio if you want uh, to whatever it is uh, that you want to adjust it to but we're not actually going to render that because we don't need to render that but that's the, the general idea of how to put together uh, a quick video using Sony Vegas. Now what I will say is this isn't an expert guide, it is just a very quick guide with some quick tips in it showing you how easy it is to put clips together and adjust the very basic essentials of the video. And in no time, with a little bit of practice, you can be putting together some nice little videos uh, up on uh, your YouTube channel if that's what you intend to do with it. And uh, don't be scared of uh, using Sony Vegas. It's a really good software for beginners and for those of you who are more experienced. Um, so play around. Uh, have fun with it. Experiment with it. Uh, and I find that's probably the best way to really learn how to use this software is to experiment, try different things. If it doesn't work, you haven't lost anything. If it does work, then you've learned something new that uh, you can use uh, for the next time around. So I've been Mr. McRaven. I hope this uh, video has proved a little bit helpful to those of you looking to uh, put some videos out on YouTube using uh, your gameplay clips. If it has, leave a comment, click like, subscribe for more. Uh, until then, take care and have fun.